Hello and Namaste my yogi friends. My name is Ajita and this video is from Inspirit Yoga. Today is day 18 of the 30 days long series for yoga for beginners. I hope you're doing well and you have been following the previous videos. In case you have not been able to see those videos and you have straightforwardly landed on the 18th day of the series, then all I can say is welcome to my channel and you can subscribe for more videos every day. So here we go. So all my beginner friends, let's get started with sitting comfortably on the mat in Sukhasan which is easy pose in which you can simply fold the legs and sit on a mat, carpet or rug whatever you have today and slowly close your eyes to connect with yourself in this moment. We are on 18th day and I hope you're doing well and practicing with me. Right now, be in the moment to connect with yourself and feel your body, your legs on the mat, your hands softly placed over your knees, feel your neck and shoulders. Keep your eyes comfortably closed, no need to look at the screen right now. My friends, we are trying to connect with our own body and breathing. Just for one minute, try to look at your facial muscles with closed eyes and if they are tight, then loosen your face and bring a nice smile on your face. Observe your stomach region and if it is tight, then relax your stomach. Observe your legs and relax your both the legs. Observe your complete body from toes up till head and relax your entire body. If there is any stress or tightness in the muscle, then soften your body as we are here on the mat today to practice some nice yogic asanas for rejuvenation and this will also help absorb various nutrients from the food which we eat. And now, comfortably and very slowly open your eyes. And we will start with stretching of our neck. So let's stretch our neck on both the sides, left and right. As you inhale, stretch your neck up. Exhale, bring your chin to chest. Take a nice and deep inhale. And for those people who have neck pain or cervical issues, must avoid forward bending of the neck. And now, bring your head side to side. So place your ears, bring your ears towards the shoulders on both the sides. Don't try to lift your shoulders up as we have right now relaxed our entire body before starting the stretches. So keep your body, entire body absolutely relaxed. And now let's do some stretch of stretching of chest and bring both the hands in front of your chest. The back of your hands will be in the front as you inhale. From both the nostrils, bring your ha hands at the back and push your chest out. Bend your neck back, drop your head back. Push your chest out, your shoulders are also stretched back. 
and as you exhale bring both the hands in front back of your hands together again we'll practice the same stretch again my friends take a nice and deep inhale as you widen your arms and place your hands bring your hands at the back keep the elbows straight my friends dono haathon ki bahon ki kohniyan bilkul seedhi push your chest out and drop your neck back and as you exhale bring both the hands the back of your hands in the front place both the hands over your knees and now we are going to start with some stretching of wrist कलहाइयों की स्ट्रेचिंग करेंगे तो अंगूठों को अंदर करेंगे चारों उंगलियां बाहर और कोहनियों को कीप योर एल्बो स्ट्रेट आर्म्स आर पैरल टू द मैट वी हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग द स्ट्रेच एवरी टाइम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द आसन सो स्ट्रेच योर रेस्ट नाइसली बाय मूविंग योर फिस्ट अप एंड डाउन दोनों मुट्ठियों को ऊपर और नीचे करेंगे कंधे बिल्कुल ढीले गर्दन बिल्कुल ढीले और अब दोनों मुठियां लेकर आएंगे छाती के पास कॉन्टिन्यू द सेम माई फ्रेंड्स एंड रिलीज लेट्स डू सम ट्विस्टिंग नाउ ब्रिंग योर राइट हैंड टूवर्ड्स द एज ऑफ योर लेफ्ट नी एंड योर लेफ्ट हैंड विल बी प्लेस्ड ऑन द मैट और ऑन द फ्लोर बिहाइंड योर हिप्स एंड ट्राई टू कीप द एल्बो ऑफ द लेफ्ट आर्म straight so that you lift your body up and stretch your spine nicely now push your chest out my friends as we are going to twist so twist nicely from your waist and keep your chest pushed out look back at the wall behind you and practice the same from alternate side so bring your left hand at the edge edge of your right knee and your right hand will be placed on the floor behind you or on the mat push your chest out and twist look back at the wall behind you and now slowly come in the center as we are going to practice some elbow rotation so all the five fingers together over your shoulders join your elbows and make big circles from your elbows keep a nice smile on your face very big circles as if you are drawing big circles keep your chest out and as you inhale your arms will go up as you exhale your arms will go down and you will join the elbows every time in front of the chest and you're going to practice the same reverse anti clockwise inhale as you bring your elbows up exhale as you bring them down and in front of the chest every time join them in front of the chest inhale and exhale and release and now join the fingers of both the hands take a nice and deep inhale from both the nostrils as we stretch our both the arms along with the ears keep your neck and shoulders absolutely relaxed my friends do not tense your muscles and slowly bring both the arms down on your lap or on the mat wherever you feel comfortable one more time my friends deep breathe in and chest out arms stretched up shoulders stretched up elbows are absolutely straight there is a smile on your face and the neck is absolutely relaxed slowly as we are going to bend forward so release your fingers of both the hands keep your hands absolutely straight as we are going to bend forward in sukhasan so breathe out as you bend down from your lower back keep your chest out while bending down and here we go try to keep your forehead on the mat if you can and if you can't do that then uh, just try to stretch from your lower back and try to bring your body down towards the floor keep your head in between your arms 
if you have neck pain then you can always keep your neck lifted up so take control of your neck in case it is su suffering the pain if it is going through any cervical issues and slowly now bring both the arms up and exhale now come on the mat come on all fours so place the knees on the mat dono ghutne mat pe rahenge and your both the hands will come on the mat as we are going to practice parvatasan or mountain pose so place both the hands on the mat and straighten your knees lift your knees up to straighten the legs try to keep the heels of your both the feet on the mat heels are on the mat and in case they are not then it's absolutely okay my friends you can slightly lift your heels up if they are not able to go down and bend your knees if you are not able to straighten your knees and for those who are able to do this please straighten your knees and bring your heels on the mat try to bring your head in between both the arms you can also pedal in parvatasan to warm up so feel that beautiful stretch on your calf on your hamstrings and every time as you bend the knee try to bring your head in between both the arms and now my friends we are going to practice a nice sequence in which from parvatasan we are going to come on the mat and come here on the mat in full plank posture so both the hands can be shifted little forward so that you can bring your hips down and hold there this is full plank so what you have to do is with the shoulders press your shoulders down towards the mat and contract your navel region try to keep your knees straight as we are going to hold it for 5 4 3 2 and 1 and now my friends bring your right foot lift your right foot up and bring it in between both the hands or if it is not able to come in between the hands then you can place it wherever to possible to the max so if it is possible bring it in between both the hands and the knee of your left leg will remain in the air do not touch that knee on the mat here we go try to bring both the hands up along with the ears in namaskar mudra 5 4 3 2 1 and one. slowly drop your left knee on the mat and come here in shalabhasan bring our body down on the mat to practice shalabhasan so bring your both the arms along with the ears straighten both the arms and legs as we are going to lift our arms and legs up to the max so lift your arms and legs towards the sky and hold it breathe in and breathe out one more time my friends we are going to practice parvatasan so both the hands are the same position where they are and both the legs will remain on the mat try to bring your heels on the mat as we come in parvatasan try to bring your head in between your arms take a nice and deep inhale feel that beautiful stretch in your entire spine and your legs if you have folded your knees your knees are bending slightly then it's okay my friends you can straighten the knees if you can you can bend them slightly if you can't do that and we are going to practice the same ashva sanchalan from alternate side so lift your left foot up and place it in between both the legs 
or wherever possible for you my friends and your right knee will remain in the air it will not touch the mat as you lift your both the arms up along with the ears both the hands in namaskar mudra bring a nice smile on your face and if there is a deep curve formed right now at your lower back then try to neutralize that curve so pull your navel region in as you hold in ashwa sanchalan 5 keep breathing my friends 4 3 to and slowly bring both the hands on the mat drop your right knee on the mat as we are going to bring our body back on the mat to practice shalab asan so straighten your arms and lift your arms and legs up hold there for a couple of breaths breathe in and breathe out One more time, my friends. Same sequence. Let's lift our body up in Parvatasan, in Mountain Pose. Both the hands and legs will be placed on the mat. Try now not to change the position of your hands and your feet. And <clears throat> hold there in Parvatasan. Breathe in and breathe out. Here we go. Right foot in between your both the hands. The left knee will not touch the mat as you lift your both the arms up. Hands in Namaskar Mudra. Breathe in and breathe out. And bring both the hands back on the mat. Your left knee will be dropped on the mat. and your body will come on the mat as we are going to practice shalabhasan my friends arms and legs are straight lift your arms and legs up breathe in and breathe out and one last time my friends lift your hips up and try to bring your heels the soles of both the feet on the mat as you're going to practice this one last time so lift your left foot up and try to bring it in between both the hands your right knee will not touch the mat lift your both the hands up arms up namaskar mudra and suck in your navel region so that this curve which is formed in your lower back is it doesn't deepen it has to be as much neutral as possible so push your chest out squeeze your navel region hold there for a couple of breaths and nice and deep inhale and exhale as you bring both the hands back on the mat drop your right knee on the mat place your body on the mat as we are going to practice shalabhasan so lift your arms and legs up breathe in and breathe out very good and now my friends let's sit in vajrasan so place your heels on the mat as we relax in vajrasan take a nice and deep inhale and complete exhale one more time deep inhale complete exhale let's practice shashank asan my friends so spread out your knees to the max this we have been practicing this asan in almost all the videos in the beginner yoga series so take a nice and deep inhale and exhale breathe out as you bring your both the hands down on the mat and straw slide yourself down on the mat breathe in and breathe out my friends surrender yourself in shashank asan 
Feel that deep stretch in your lower back. Slowly breathe in as you come back in the center and relax on your back. So lie down on your back. And now my friends, we are going to practice Ardha Halasan which is half plow pose. In this, if you have a lower back problem then you, or you are a newbie, then you can place both the hands below your hips. And if you have been practicing the core workout before, then you can place both the hands besides your body. So whatever is suitable for you my friends, uh, these are the two variations to modify according to your body type. In Ardha Halasan, you need to lift your both the legs up in 90 degree position. So hands can be below the hips or besides your body. Choose your comfort and hold in half plow pose or 90 degree position. And try to press your knees in and curl your toes down towards the body. Take a nice and deep inhale from both the nostrils. Exhale from both the nostrils. My friends, try to keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. Mostly what happens is when we practice the core workout, we tense or tighten our neck and shoulders and that is not suitable for a long time because finally it does affect you in a wrong way so keep your body absolutely relaxed my friends and hold there try to suck in your navel region in towards the spine and try to push your lower back your lumbar region down towards the mat all right slowly bring your both the legs down don't lose control don't drop your legs slowly bring your both the legs down on the mat i know sometimes it's very difficult to do that but if it is not difficult then it's not really effective as well uh, so try to do things which challenge your body all right my friends we are going to relax in shavasan so maintain a nice gap in between both the legs and keep your hands besides your body. Finger of both the hands will be slightly open and relaxed. From now my friends till the end of the session, till the end of video, keep your eyes absolutely closed and there is no need to look at the screen as we are going to practice deep relaxation. Keep your eyes closed my friends and observe your both the legs. Relax your legs. Bring your focus up towards the stomach region. Relax your stomach. Bring your focus up towards your chest region. Relax your chest muscles. Observe your both arms and both hands. Relax your arms. Relax your wrist and elbows. Bring your focus up towards your neck and shoulders. Relax your neck and shoulders. Mm -hmm. 
observe your facial muscles relax your facial muscles bring your focus towards your forehead region relax your forehead observe your entire body from head till toes relax your complete body slowly turn towards the side wherever is your screen and with the help of your hand sit on the mat Keep your eyes closed my friends as we are going to practice some chest breathing so place both the hands in gyana mudra over your knees and take a nice and deep inhale from both the nostrils and complete exhale one more time inhale as you push your chest out exhale and your chest will come in one more time my friends deep inhale and chest out complete exhale and chest in slowly rub the palms of both the hands and place them softly over your eyes open your eyes in your palms and That's how we finish the 17th day of yoga for beginners series. My friends, thanks for watching my video today and thanks for practicing with me. If you like my video, then let me give you one piece of information. I upload one video daily in this yoga for beginners series. So you can always subscribe and you will keep getting updates of my everyday new yoga video for beginners. Apart from this I would like to also say that I have written an e-book which is by the name Learn Surya Namaskar and 25 asanas in 5 weeks yes it is a 5 weeks yoga schedule and each week it has a different and a new yoga series for everyone it's a full body workout so it is a 5 week yoga plan which includes surya namaskar as one of the yoga uh, practice in fifth week and this book has lots of images my friends each asan is described with four to five images with different labels so it's going to be very easy for you to read the e book and don't worry it doesn't have lot of text and lot of literature it's not like a boring e book it is it is the e book meant for people who want to practice and who want to learn or teach themselves yoga at home or wherever they want to practice So go ahead you can click on the link below i i have uh, mentioned that link uh, you can click that link and that link will take you directly to amazon where my ebook is available thanks for watching my video have a good day